Hi, I'm Randy, that Geeky Maker, and today I'm going to show you how to make a wooden cutting board. No. 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 Why would a cutting board need Bluetooth? Look, I'm a geek and I make things. That's why the channel has, is called That Geeky Maker. I'm the geeky maker. It doesn't mean every single project I make has to be something from science fiction or fantasy. Besides, this is gonna be a birthday gift for my mom. Happy birthday, mom. Yeah, back in high school, uh, it was in the shape of a pig. Yeah, it wasn't even nice, you know, with strips of wood glued together. It was literally just a piece of wood cut into the shape of a pig. Exactly, and now I have the skill and the opportunity to make her a much nicer one. Besides, what mom doesn't want to get a nice handmade gift from her son? <laughs> well, excuse me, Mr. I've Saved the Galaxy a whole bunch of times. Yeah, you have. You saved a galaxy far, far away. Talk to me when you save this galaxy once. How about I carve your face into it and write Star Trek underneath it? Try me. I'm going to be using mahogany, maple and walnut for this because I need three different colors. The boards that I could get at my local store weren't thick enough so I'm going to cut these in half and glue them together. I've never really worked with maple before but it's as hard as a rock and my janky table saw really didn't do a good job of cutting it. I'll have to clean this up later on the planer. Another problem was that the pieces bowed when I cut them, so I'm gonna have to push them down against the table when I clamp them to straighten them out. After the pieces dried, I ran them through the planer to clean them up. Much better. I ran them through enough times to clean up all the edges and get them all the same size. Now I need to cut these down into a whole bunch of tiny parallelograms. I cut one edge at a 30 degree angle and now I need to make sure that this size is exactly the same size as this size. I taped a 1-2-3 block to my saw to act as a stop block. That looks pretty good, but before I cut all the pieces of one color, I need to make sure that they'll end up being a perfect hexagon, so I'm going to cut one of each color first. This was almost perfect. I had to make one tiny adjustment and then I was able to cut out all the pieces. The saw left behind a lot of crud, especially on the mahogany, so I'm gonna have to sand all these pieces.
That's a lot of parallelograms. Now I can glue all of these together to make some tricolor hexagons. It's very important that you orient the grain in the same way on each of these. The glue left behind a residue, so more sanding. Before gluing, I tested these out to get the best fit that I could. I laid down a sheet of parchment paper to prevent myself from gluing this cutting board to my workbench. I also clamped down a couple of pieces of MDF at a 90 degree angle to keep everything nice and square. I decided the cutting board wasn't quite wide enough, so I took some of these extra pieces and filled in these gaps. I'm not quite happy with the way my table saw is working these days, so I've squared this up on the bandsaw. And now it's time to run it through the planer to get it nice and flat. I used a quarter inch round over bit on my router table to round over all the edges. You video gamers out there might think this cutting board looks familiar. And now I'm adding some food safe mineral oil. And to finish it off, I'm adding some butcher block conditioner. Well, here it is, all finished. I think it looks great, and I think my mom's gonna love it. What do you think, R2?